Hello, my dear friends. The ink didn't dry on uh, the first part of this video and I'm already doing the second one. Well, I have the luxury because uh, I didn't publish the video right away. It's only coming on, on Sunday and uh, today actually is Friday I'm doing this video. And the reason I'm doing it is uh, I realize that sometimes, <coughs> most of the time, when I know something very well, and I explain it to somebody else, I, I am biased and I assume that they also know it. So I realized that I may have not explained enough uh, in depth the different, because I introduced many concepts and uh, with many metaphors and uh, I want to go over them and explain it more in detail. And if you arrived that far, it means that the splinter already is in your mind and that's a good thing because, like I said in, in the previous video, I need you to spread the knowledge. It's very important that the more people will understand it and know it, the quicker we will enter a new reality. So, the first thing I showed you there was a uh, clip from the movie uh, The Truman Show. And uh, I will uh, read what Wikipedia has to say about that uh, movie <coughs> that I think was published in uh, 1989. I think so, maybe later. And it was a big hit because of totally different reasons. They wanted to show how we are not free and how the, you know, the media and the world is controlling us. It was a totally different message. I used it in for, for a, for, you know, from, from a different angle here because what it uh, depicts is actually the, uh, the reality, or no, sorry, <laughs> the infinity uh, impossibility, okay? So what Wikipedia says is Truman Barkbank is the unsuspecting star of the Truman Show, a reality television program filmed 24-7 through thousands of hidden cameras and broadcast to a worldwide audience. Christoph, which here I am using him, he is the god of, obviously, of Truman, right? The show's creator, they even use creator here, an executive producer seeks to capture Truman's authentic emotions and give audiences a relatable everyman. Truman has been the star of the show since he was born and the studio officially adopted him, or actually they own him. Same as God owns us, right? So, uh, as I said, you see here is the, the, another picture of, of, of uh, this virtual reality, right? Uh, where Truman is. But the same as uh, God, having the problem of the uh, infer infinity uh, paradox. Christoph has the same problem. And uh, obviously, he, he doesn't hide it well enough because here is uh, Truman, and he gets to the end of it. I mean, to the end of the world, his world. And uh, the way... Christoph hid it, he painted it in blue, so it looks like the sky and the ocean. And he scared him from childhood uh, not to, to go in that direction, not to go in the water. That's why uh, there was a cannon shot in there, because they tried to stop him from, from uh, sailing. Uh, he was supposed to be afraid of the water, but he wasn't, right? And uh, he arrived at that point. We, on the other hand, Cannot arrive, at, cannot arrive at that point because the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light and our ability to see is only at the speed of light. So we will never reach that wall because it's expanding faster than, uh, than we can reach, right? Now, uh, now, an interesting thought I had about the universe expansion, that's why I paused here for a minute because I lost it there. <laughs> is that, in my opinion, the universe as we know it 
is growing with our ability to see. So what I mean by that is that, uh, say, in biblical times, the universe didn't consist more than a few thousand stars because it was not necessary. We couldn't see beyond. And as we developed with Galileo and uh, we started to develop telescopes and more advanced telescopes and the web, I guess, the, the, the newest one, then the universe had to expand so we don't hit that wall just like uh, Truman did, right? Just an interesting thought. All right, uh, let me go to that solar system uh, slide that we had. And uh, I will just go over it quickly. And now you can, you can probably connect it uh, quite well with, the, with that uh, infinity paradox and with the blue wall. Because here we have the same issue, you see. And the issue is that if we simulate this uh, solar system here, which is what God did by dreaming or imagining this reality, then we need to put some kind of a... No? Just for some reason my pen doesn't work. Okay. So we need to put some kind of a... Hmm. Give me a second here. Uh, all right. So we need to put some kind of a perimeter around it, right? There has to be somewhere, just like that wall that uh, uh, Christoph did for uh, Truman. God needed to put the same kind of a wall here. Because remember, this is done from like same as if we do in a simulation, right? Like where do you put that boundary? Because when you simulate, if you don't put a boundary, you will have to do exactly what God did. You will have to create billions and billions and billions of galaxies <coughs> for these creatures that we created, if you remember, on Earth, intelligent beings, not to discover that this is <laughs> really a, a virtual reality, right? So th this is what it's all about. Now keep in mind, uh, we go back here, keep in mind that uh, there is also, and I didn't mention it in the previous video, there is also the micro or the, the very small uh, paradox because it's exactly the same problem like the universe. It has to be hidden somehow because otherwise you will get to the bottom of it and the whole thing will, will fall apart. And it is, in some ways, falling apart, for example, with the dual slit experiment. When we start to, 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 to scratch that surface of the very small, we start to discover very strange and weird things. That's why quantum mechanics, physics, is so strange. That's why Einstein and other scientists said, oh, this doesn't make sense. It cannot be. It's because we are scratching that wall. We are actually there. But what the programmer did, he, he, he created a situation where the more we scratch, the more smaller particles appear. And this is forever. This is just as an infinity as the universe is. And uh, I uh, will show you a slide here from uh, my previous, one of my previous videos. It's called The Four Boundaries. It's uh, the first part of, the, of this book, but uh, obviously it's not relevant because you have all the parts here. But I want to show you that slide and, and it, will, uh, it will really uh, give you a very, very good understanding of wh what I'm talking about. You see, here, let me move my uh, th self away a little bit. So you see here, uh, I am depicting our reality as being in a box, and it has four boundaries. It has like the infinity of the universe is one of the boundaries. Then there's the infinity. This was the infinity of the universe here. Let's make it in black. It's probably more effective. Right? The infinity of the universe. And then there is the infinity of the very small, the quantum particles. It's, it's another wall that we cannot cross because it will always come up with new particles. Here we also have the death, maybe in the wrong order, the birth and the death. And those are the two walls uh, delimiting the thing in, in, in the time. And the thing is that they are also an illusion. 
because there is no such thing as death or birth. All it is is you, as a consciousness that always exists, coming on this stage here, entering here into the stage, and exiting here from the stage. But your consciousness doesn't change. You are a fragment of the main consciousness, which is the programmer, and nothing changes there. It's just that you go through different... There could be some other plays and shows that we go through. I'm not aware of because I, you know, I, like anybody else, I haven't been there and come back. But that's a very, very uh, likely possibility, right? So, let me come back to myself here. Uh, I hope that I made it uh, more clear to you what, how all these things are coming together and connecting together. Uh, keep in mind that for the programmer, the other options that I can see, obviously you could see probably more than me, is he could have done this whole universe one solid piece with lots of corridors and, and roads and everything, but probably wouldn't work as well as, as the way he did it with, the, uh, with all the bodies floating in, in space, right? Galaxies and, and stars and planets and so on. That's, that's a better solution. Another solution he could have maybe uh, come up with is to make it all empty. I'm not saying nothingness, because nothingness wouldn't work. We couldn't exist in there. But he could have made it all empty. You just have Earth and, and, and the Sun and the Moon, and uh, that's that. Uh, but then we would be very flat. We wouldn't be able to develop. Uh, we, we wouldn't develop uh, intelligent, I mean, intelligently and mentally, I think. So the best solution is actually what was done, which is the way the universe is here, the, the way our reality is, right? It also makes it much more interesting. In, uh, it makes people like Elon Musk that, that uh, you know, develop rockets to go to Mars and so on. So it, it has more than one purpose, not only to hide the infinity, but it also gives us a playing ground. Uh, so... I hope that this second part explains uh, more in depth and makes many things much clearer uh, from, from how I left it in the first video. And uh, I hope to hear from you. I hope that you spread this knowledge, like I said earlier, and you share the video and you subscribe and, and, and you know, make, it, make it go. It will go regardless but you can make it go faster and i will see you in the next video which i think i'll make one this coming week and i'll tell you also some other secrets about myself like what's going on right now and i will also apply some of the concepts that i introduced here into your day-to-day -day life in, in 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 some ways so all the best to you have a great uh, well great weekend by the time you see it the weekend will be over so have a great week and uh, we'll see you in the next video bye